Well, with interest rates still low and with so many people moving back to urban areas, house flipping has become a popular and actually profitable trend. Yeah, especially for women looking to make a good income and still have time to be mom. Flipping a house involves purchasing a home, fixing it up, and then selling it within six months for a profit. According to Realty Track, homes flipped in 2013 accounted for 4.6% of all U.S. single family home sales during the year. That's up from 4.2% in 2012 and up from 2.6% in 2011. But house flipping can be risky if you don't know what you're doing. Today, some tips on how to make sure your flip doesn't turn into a flop. Jody Johansson is exploring the housing market, looking for a good property to renovate and flip for a profit. It's a hot market. Everybody is moving here and staying here. Jody can buy this house for $159,000 and put $70,000 in renovations and sell it for $299,000. Profit of $70,000 sounds good, but the house is not for Jody. A little bit too much work. According to Realty Track, home flippers reaped a 30% gross return on their investment during the first quarter of this year. It's going to be a study area for the kids. Amy Bloom's company works with investors, especially the growing number of women who want to juggle business with motherhood. Renovating houses has worked for me as a mom. I can spend time in the evenings looking at furnishings and finishes and doing some research on the MLS of what sales prices are. Amy says inexperienced house flippers often underestimate the amount of work needed to renovate a house. They underestimate the amount of cash needed for the job. Another mistake, they hire unreliable contractors and pay them before the job is completed. They overbuild for the neighborhood and they set prices too high. This is move-in ready. You know you're not going to have to put a lot of work into the house. The house was purchased for $71,000. They put $34,000 into it, then sold it for $144,000, a $30,000 profit for three months' work. My advice is be prepared and have enough money in the bank that if something happens, that it's not going to bankrupt you. For potential house flippers, developing a team you can trust can be the key to success. And last year, 21% of all the houses that were flipped were purchased out of foreclosure. But that number is dropping, so investors are looking at other ways to buy discounted property to flip. Wow. I, you know, I don't know about your house, but our house, I think one of the big focal points is the kitchen. Oh, yeah. And a lot of places are like that. So while we're talking about home and focusing on the kitchen, maybe you are in the market for an upgrade or you want to change the look of your kitchen. Up next on Delmarva Life, we're going to take you through the process and go over one of the common mistakes people make when redesigning. Well, we can also make a lot of mistakes when it comes to our washer and dryer. For instance, how many times do you just keep stuffing clothes in there? Well, just one more shirt, one more pair of shorts. Yeah, I've done it. <laughs> our friends from Angie's List tell us what type of damage we could be causing. And we got our first clue, but that wasn't much help. So we need clue <laughs> number two in our search for striker, Sean. And my next clue might have you wanting to batten down the hatches in the 1930s. This place was devastated by a hurricane. Still not sure? Well, coming up, I still have one more clue. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.